That's Showtime at Hope's in Miami. Andre Baranowski gets out the line, steals it, and the Indy 250. Oh, Gordon, the back are in trouble, and I go. Gordon's on the wall, jumps right around. Side by side on the final lap, coming to the checkered flag. Steve Morgan, the last oh, lap pass, yeah. and the victory in Las Vegas. Welcome to the NOF SRL. Today is finally the day we have been waiting for since December 25th. Cars on track for the first time in 2020. Today we kick off officially NOF SRL Speed Week presented by Mellow Yellow with practice for the AT&T Clash for the New Era Cup Series that will be held this Saturday afternoon. 22 drivers competed in this exhibition three-season race. For the first time ever in the New Era Cup Series, this will not be two races like it has in the past with rookies and experienced drivers. One full race with the drivers with experience. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Marty Sakala. What a beautiful day it is for testing, for practice, I should say, for the clash. How did these drivers get into the clash. We got 22 drivers that have made the roster. If you have wanted to be a part of the clash, drivers are eligible, including 2019 Perrier Pole Award winners, past AT&T Clash winners who competed full-time in 2019, former Daytona 500 winners, former Daytona 500 Pole winners, and 2019 Playoff drivers. Tomorrow's race is set for 20 laps are at around the World Center of Racing. It should be a fun one, to say the least. So uh, let's get started and talk about some of the drivers we've got on the roster. Some of them, as you can see here, here's our brand new ticker. Similar to what uh, Napa fans been using on the NOF SRL side. Speaking of which, I'm looking forward to spending uh, Speed Weeks with him. One of the biggest Speed Weeks in NOF SRL history. First one, taking time on the board. Let's start by talking about this guy. In a new ride this season, C.J. Williams in the number 24 Hurt Chevy Camaro for Hendrick Motorsports. Drove the 43 last season for Richard Petty Motorsports. Got a pull in the New Era Cup Series last year, so he is automatically eligible for it. This, is, this was the car, don't forget, that won the Season 4 New Era Cup Series Championship with Alexander Rowe behind the wheel, and he's looking forward to a great season. Mike Chuck. Oh, it should be working fine anyway, so. Just doing a quick little mic test here. Uh, Justin Zydell was actually the first one to take time with the 49-385. Williams comes across the line 49-046 in the 24. Let's talk about Justin Zydell. Made the championship for and contended for the championship for the second time in the last two years. He's been a part of the series. Back with Ganassi in the number one. In fact, the Ganassi team red hot again. While they have gone down to two teams, they have kept their championship four drivers. Zydell and Nathan Stapleton in the 42. We're about to see Stapleton right here. Both of them are very excited for this season and look to give Chip Ganassi Racing a championship in the new Era Cup Series. 
fastest guy on track at the moment, John Andrews. He's made the switch to the number 17 this year for Roush Fenway, Fenway Racing. Drove the 24. And this guy, I tell you, he has had some bad, and I mean bad luck, in New Era Cup Series competition. Started racing in Season 3, finished in the bottom of the barrel in Seasons number 3 and 4. Season 5 was expected to be a big year for him. Because he got off to a great start. Got the pole for the Daytona 500. And also was three laps away from winning the first Texas race of the season. And then got caught up in a lap traffic accident. Took him out of the running. Working with, look who else is up there. Last year's New Era Cup Series champion. And probably one of the most shocking finishes in New Era Cup Series championship history. Steve Morgan. Good to see him coming in as a champion. Should have had a championship in season number three. Unfortunately, though, didn't get the title he deserved, though, because of the blown engine with three to go. But on the final lap, that title was all Justin Zidell's. And then ran out of fuel with about coming to the white flag. Had to come into pit road. Steve Morgan passed him. Held off Matthew Logan for the championship. In fact, all four of our championship four drivers from last season are in this race as well. We should talk about it as well in the pack. Carter Friesen, still with JTG Doherty Racing, but has made the swap from the 47 to the 37. 47 being fielded by Daniel Voyles, not in, the, in this race tomorrow. But you will see him, though, on Sunday afternoon for Daytona 500 pole qualifying. That's when we'll see everyone take two laps single car qualifies best lap gets the pole and the, and and the second fastest lap starts second front row will be locked that day take you to the fastest guy on track at the moment find him it's Casey Nanico working with a pack of six four five other drivers Nanico you see last year's drove the 18 who's behind him he's in the 51 for Rick Ware racing Rick Ware mate racing making the switch to full time in cup competition. Going from two. Oh, trouble with Johnny Garner. And makes contact with his teammate. Marty Johnson. With front end damage. Something is wrong on the two. And Johnson had nowhere to go. Luckily though for a race like the Clash. The starting lineup determined at random. So going to the back whatsoever. That's not what they wanted for this primary clash car on the 12 and the 2. Two Penske cars will likely have to start at the rear of the field. Remember, speed weeks in the New Era Cup Series, if you get a wreck in practice or damage the car, you will start at the back of the pack. So what went wrong with the 2 of Johnny Garner? We caught this live on camera. Watch the speed here on the top of your screen. Does he just lose a... I think he lost a cylinder. I think Gardner lost a cylinder, and Johnson did not expect it, and that is two, both Penske cars that are supposed to be in the clash, the third one not racing because it's Zach Ryan, are already damaged. Not the start that Mr. Penske wanted to have, and it involves two of the drivers that have competed in every season of New Era Cup competition. Listen to Gardner. I think he lost a cylinder. So we'll have to go to the back for an engine change and also the backup car, no doubt about that. Alright, so let's focus back on that same pack we were looking at earlier. So in the pack as well, Colin Denton, back in his famed number 34 after spending a season with Richard Childress Racing. The man with the all-time wins in New Era Cup Series competition. The Season 3 Daytona 500 winner as well. They're working on the 52 coming up to Gatlin Downey. And that's pretty tight there. And going by, just saying see you later. Cody Smart in the 10. Back in a full-time ride. Two wins last season. About time he got those two wins. But they were part-time with the now-defunct Obica Racing. Currently 7th quickest in practice. Ethan Hoffman from part-time to full-time. From the 81 to the 18. One at Watkins Glen last season. And he's looking forward to having a good year as well. Luke Rainey making the move from the 22 to the 15. The season, funny fact, the 15, which was driven by Tyler Marco last year, 
the only car that did not lead a lap whatsoever. So looking to improve on that. And how about this man as well, Jesse Turner from the 17 to the 43. That's the number he made famous in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Good to see Turner return for his for his second season of cup competition. Finished in about the top 20 in standings last year. Didn't make the playoffs, obviously. But he did get a pull, which makes him eligible for the clash. So right now, Nanako fastest, 46-593. Hoffman second, 46-646. Let's take it to the guy in third at the moment. Derek Hamill in the 32, working with a pack of three other drivers here. Hamill back in the 32. This time a new sponsor, Schluter Systems. Big. It relates to him greatly with Schluter Systems. Has had some family ties with the company. But Hamill got a pull as well last season. Looking to have a good season as well. And how about this man? The most popular driver in New Era Cup Series history. No, that's not Edwin Mendez in the 4 anymore. He moved to the 11. The 4 now piloted by Zachary Fitzwater. This is... The third Stuart Haas race car, different Stuart Haas race car, he has driven in four seasons. The all-star winner, now back in, got a pole as well last year. Has never won a regular season New Era Cup Series race, so he would love to get that done this season. Fit Fitzy currently six quick, it's a 46, 7, 49, they work out, oh, Downey, that's a little bit tight. Also in the pack as well, the 19, Mitchell Collins, the rookie of, almost had got rookie of the year last season, but lost that out to Matthew Logan in the 96, moving from the 20 to the 19 this season. Last year, driven by Christian Vargas in the double zero this season, currently fifth quickest at the moment, and also win the runner-up in the New Era Cup Series Championship last season, almost became the first ever rookie to clinch the title by being the first one to the line, Matthew Logan moving to the 96 Coca-Cola Toyota. That has been moved up to a full-time entry. Logan currently 7th quickest, 46, 7, 95. Is there anyone else we've not talked about yet? Going through, we got a 22 driver field this season. Johnson's gotten his backup car back out on track. We haven't talked about Eric Monaco yet in the three. Talladega winner from last season. Drove the double zero for Starcom. Now is back in the number three. Was in this ride in season four of the New Era Cup Series. Got the win in the Little Caesars 400. That's the second Michigan race that we go to that season. And is looking forward to being back and having a good year. Won at Talladega for Starcom. Had to beat, beat Steve Morgan for that. And Steve Morgan had to do very well in that race or else he would not have won the championship that year. We haven't talked about Johnson that much. This man on one of the longest winless streaks in New Era Cup Series history has not won since Season 1 back in the Texas Motor Speedway. He's been in the All-Star Race, though, the last two seasons, but that's because he's won a segment in the Open that's gotten him to advance in to the All-Star Race. I would love to get a win on the board. He's been thinking as well, this could be his last season of New Era Cup Series competition with the way he's been racing, though. But we'll have to see. Let's go forward here. See who else we haven't talked about. Edwin Mendez in the 11. Won at Phoenix Raceway last season, which is now the, which was formerly the ISM Raceway. Moving to the 11, first time he's driven a Toyota in the Cup Series competition. Four seasons, he drove the number four. And then back in season number two, went part-time in the number, when it was known as the 59 for Levine Family Racing. Gatlin Downey in the, in the 52, man. Something's amiss on that car. He is not up to speed at all. Currently a 52, 666. This may be something they're going to have, they're going to have to work on. But anyway, Gatlin Downey, two wins last year in cup competition. One at Michigan. I can't remember the other track he went off the top of my head, though. But yeah, 22nd quickest. Only guy in the 50s right now at the moment. 
We're just over a minute to go. I think we've talked about everyone. Maybe except Johnny Garner, though, because Garner, remember, he got in that wreck as well. Nice pack here of seven drivers trying to work on the draft. These drivers as well have a big, big advantage over the other drivers that are not in the clash because they're getting more practice time, pretty much, heading into the Daytona 500, whether you're in the draft, whether you're in qualifying, single car qualifying trim or not. This is a big opportunity for these race car drivers. Don't forget, tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, the Mel Yellow Smooth Fest, that's pretty much their version of the Clash, held on Napa Fan, the returning Chick-fil-A Cup Series drivers from last year, battling it out. I remember Marty Johnson actually won that race. I think we had another wreck in turn three. This is a big one. That's Edwin Mendes and practice. Damage to the rear end of the 11 as practice will come to an end with Johnny Garner after changing the engine. To the top of 46-438. Take a look at what happened to him. So let's see here. That's uh, Christian Vargas coming back onto the track. And Mendez just runs into him while trying to go up high. And rear ends the car. And that will likely mean it as well. Mendez will have to go to a backup car. Because of the aerodynamic damage. Look at the spoiler damage on the 11. Likely will have to go to a backup car. For the clash. So that's a tough break for him. So practice about to come to a halt. And the quickest guy on track is Johnny Gardner. In the number 2. 46-438. Next New Era Cup Series on track session here. Will be the AT&T Clash tomorrow afternoon. About 1 o'clock. But it could be moved to 2 o'clock. Based on how qualifying goes in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. It should be about 90 minutes. So most likely we will start things off at 2 o'clock. Eastern time. Next time we're on the NOFSRL channel, it's dual practice on Wednesday. So, Johnny Garner, the fastest one. 46-438. Glad you could all join us for the first practice session of Speed Weeks for the AT&T Clash. There's the times, how they look. And Johnny Garner, quickest, a 46-438. Hopefully he can use that to his advantage come tomorrow in the Clash. Driver lineups, I don't know if they're set randomly or via uh, points. I'm pretty sure they're set randomly. Uh, we just randomized the grid, and whoever's on pole gets the whoever starts where they start where, but we're going to have to change the, the drivers where they start. So Johnny Garner, remember the backup car for him, or the engine change, I should say, excuse me, and the backup car. But yeah, Johnny Garner the fastest, Nanako second, Andrews third, Smart fourth, Hoffman fifth. 6th, Hamill, Turner 7th, Vargas 8th, Fitzy 9th, and Matthew Logan is 10th. So, don't forget tonight, the Metal Yellow Smooth Fest, 7 o'clock Eastern Time on Napa Fan. And then tomorrow we are back here for the AT&T Clash in the afternoon. That starts at about 1 o'clock Eastern Time, the expected time again. We'll likely be starting at 2 o'clock Eastern Time for that. And then after that, um... Not sure what's after that, and after that, well, for us then, would be um, day 205 from a qualifying on Sunday. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the AT&T Clash in the afternoon. I'm Ari Sakal. You've been watching the NOFSRL New Era Cup Series and NOFSRL Speed Weeks presented by Mellow Yellow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And until then.